Hello and welcome back to Fairweather Trains. You can't help but notice these days if you surf on YouTube or Reddit or um, various model train forums or whatever, there's a lot of negativity knocking about about Hornby, about the prices and the quality of some of their output. And while I'm not one to disagree, I think their quality is not as good as it was, I thought for a change we'd have a look at a positive. A, uh, a very decent engine that they put out some time ago to show what they are actually capable of. Now this engine, this engine came out in 2015 for the first time and it is a class J15 in the uh, early BR black livery. Uh, as I say, 2015, this came out. We'll just have a quick look at the box. Ah, oh, 3530. And it's in one of those boxes with all the uh, interesting writing on the back. And uh, whether this actually means anything or not in reality, uh, the drawings are from 2014. So Hornby definitely are capable of putting out decent locos when they want to. Maybe they're a bit uh, thin on the ground these days. But this is the, uh, as I say, the J15. This has a uh, five pole motor with apparently two flywheels. I don't know whether it's got two. Um, I've not had a chance to, or not needed to take this one apart at all. All wheel pickup except the uh, middle wheels on the tender, so the two end sets do, and all the loco wheels. <coughs> also, <coughs> the loco itself, <coughs> sorry, all this here is all made of die cast, as is the chassis. So it's all die cast with plastic added parts. So it's not, it's an unlined version, as you can see. But it's uh, remarkably heavy because it's all made of metal, obviously. You can see there's nice detailing on this. A nice bit of um, copper type pipe uh, around the back steps there. Builder's plate, reversing lever. Sprung buffers, no less. Uh, nice smoke box door with the hand rails running around it and the uh, lamp bracket at the top, plus and across the front. Come back this way and have a look inside the cab because that's been nicely decorated as well. Nicely painted. That's, that's really nice in there. Does have glazing. The tender's smooth sided, but some half decent relief on the bogies. More lamp brackets on the back, sprung buffers, NEM couplings. I've got one fitted on the front. Let's just uh, turn it around. <laughs> now it's upside down, not anyway. It's got a permanent connection uh, with screws instead of needing some sort of uh, fishing equipment to keep it all together, Backman. And this side is slightly different. It's got the nice gold band. There, yeah, another copper effect pipe, some more on the bottom. It's a good looking coal load. And you can see the um, brake handles or whatever they are on the tender at the front. Tiny little buffers on the tender. We'll just about make them out, I think. And again, no problem with the uh, application of the livery uh, and the badges. Yeah, so as I say, this is all metal. 
and as are the uh, valves and the whistles, they're certainly metal. Don't think the chimney, well, I don't know, could be chimney and the dome could be. The boiler definitely is all metal. Uh, I don't know if we can read that builder's plate, whether I'm going to get that or not. Yeah, it looks like it should be legible. So I think this is a lovely looking thing. And um, oh, with the red uh, connecting rod as well. Let's just get this down on the track. We'll give it a very quick run test. I don't know if these are still currently available. They may be, but uh, ours was for a train fair, I think. Can't remember now, but it a while. So let's just uh, get it to go backwards and forwards. And backwards again. Runs nicely, as you can see. No real noise from that at all. Definitely a recommended engine from Hornby. Definitely one of their better ones. Uh, reminds me a bit of the Drummond, which I think we've looked at in a previous video, um, which is another one I definitely recommend, another 060. It's uh, beautifully made and a lovely runner. So what we'll do is we'll get this one on the main track, just give it a bit of a pull test, cross some points, and see how it goes. Right, back in the moat. So there's the lovely Hornby J15 down on the track. Looks good. We'll just make sure it's still running slightly and slowly. What about if I give it a uh, 50%? There we go, that's 50%. So quite nicely geared, I think. Yeah, very nice. So I think we ought to give this a load and give it a bit of a points test and see how it gets on. So let me sort that out. There she is, all hooked up with a uh, very non-prototypical load. Let's uh, send it round. As you get some of the old lemur crossing. No problems there. Through the station. I think what we'll do now is give it a uh, points test. These are just two standard Hornby, Hornby points, second radius or whatever they are. That was easy. What about back again? This is uh, a bit of a test of the Acuriscale wagons as well, isn't it really? That was pretty easy. Right, we'll send it off again. Once more around. Got 
of the usual junk all over the uh, table. rest so that's the Hornby J15 um, a lovely looking thing mostly made out of metal and just really a, a slight push back at the people who say Hornby are rubbish these days I don't think they are what they are though I have to admit and I don't really have anything new of theirs to run because it's all too expensive for me uh, I'll pick them up in a few years when they're second hand or when they get um, rapidly reduced because they've not sold well but they can do it when they want to and this is proof of this along with the Drummond and a few others all good stuff and this is from 2015 I don't know whether it's still in their catalogue it should be because it's plenty good enough it's even has room for a speaker somewhere it must be in the tender so what do you reckon to the Hornby J15 I think it's lovely what do you think of Hornby generally and there's a lot of talk of them going bust or whatever, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big businessman. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, so let us know what you think in the comments, what you think of the J15, and we'll see you in the next one. Let's send it away.